Uh, energy medicine uses the body's energies to heal. Uh, we are 99% energy. Our body uses energy naturally and we evolved with it. So our, it is a natural uh, medicine. M my major thing in life is to teach people how to heal themselves, to have energy medicine tools in their back pocket that they can use when they don't feel well. Most cultures in the world used a form of energy medicine to keep themselves healthy long before Western medicine ever came around. Growing up, I had a lot of health problems. I had tuberculosis as a really little girl, which taxed my lungs, and as I grew older, I got asthma. I was allergic to everything under the sun, and by the time I was 16, I had multiple sclerosis. I couldn't walk outside of the house without uh, being really plagued and couldn't breathe, and, and then uh, I, it was getting harder and harder for me to walk. So everything was just breaking down in my body and, and, I, and Western medicine, doctors, though they tried, could not figure me out. And once I closed the door to Western medicine and said yes to energy, then it became easier. Well, the very first thing I did was because I, I couldn't walk very well and sometimes I couldn't walk for hours of each day. And so I put my hand at the top of my legs and my other hand on my knees, on the tops of my knees. And when I held my hands there, it took about three minutes and I could both see the energy moving and I could feel it start connecting up. After I healed myself, first of all, I wanted to, I wanted to share it with everybody. I began to give names to some of the systems that I saw, but over time I found that that these systems had names in other cultures, that this is very old, this isn't new, this has been around for forever, and I was just tapping into it. 23 years later, I began teaching almost nonstop when my first book came out energy medicine. My husband David Feinstein and I travel around the world teaching people how to heal themselves and we have a school now where we have hundreds of people uh, taking energy medicine and women are particularly sensitive to energy and to hormonal shifts. Most people who get thyroid problems are women. Most people who have any of the hormonal ups and downs that wind up in autoimmune illnesses are women. If we can af affect our energies, which affect our hormones, it not only helps us on a daily basis, but we do not age as we would otherwise. I mean, we can turn around so many of the natural processes that begin to speed up uh, by affecting our energies and our hormones. I teach people how to energy test, uh, which is an extraordinary tool to know what's going on in the body. Energy medicine for women deals with uh, all the issues of a woman's life, and we do it through energy. How to deal with the energies in your body and help direct them in a positive direction. 